The damage caused by Orochimaru's plot to destroy the Hidden Leaf was catastrophic. To recover from this tremendous upheaval, the village was in need of a new leader. That honor fell to the Toad Sage Jiraiya, who was also a legendary Sani like Orochimaru. Although Jiraiya had been asked to become the next Hokage, he embarked on a journey to find another suitable candidate. Naruto accompanied him on that journey. At that same time, the village received an unexpected visitor. It was Itachi Uchiha, rogue ninja of the Hidden Leaf and member of the organization known as the Akatsuki. Itachi was Sasuke's older brother, as well as his hated enemy. Five years earlier, Itachi had slaughtered every member of the village's prestigious Uchiha clan in a single night, save Sasuke. <laughs> Learning of Itachi's visit, Sasuke left in quick pursuit and came upon him just as he was trying to capture Naruto. Long time no see, Sasuke. Itachi Uchiha, you're the one person I'll never forgive! Itachi... Uchiha... It's just like you said. So bitter, so full of hate, and I vowed to kill you! That's all I live for! No escape! No death! What? This way! Any connection I had ends here and now. You're nothing but a nuisance to me here. Firestein! Fireball Jutsu! No escape! No death! This way! You're spoiling my view. Too slow. This way. You're spoiling my view. Die. You're spoiling my view. I lived my whole life just so I could defeat you. Hitachi Uchiha. Get ready to die. You're not strong enough. <laughs> Sasuke fought valiantly. But the gap in their abilities was insurmountable, and he fell victim to Itachi's genjutsu, known as Tsukuyomi. <laughs> Your hate isn't strong enough. And with those words, Itachi departed. But not before also getting the best of Jiraiya, who had rushed to Naruto and Sasuke's defense. As they trained, they continued their journey to find a worthy individual. Jiraiya had set his sights on Tsunade, a preeminent medical ninja and fellow member of the legendary Sani. Just then, Orochimaru and his devoted assistant, Kabuto Yakushi, 
approached Tsunade to request her assistance with healing Orochimaru's sealed arms. They tried to tempt her with a promise to resurrect her loved ones. When such enticements proved ineffective, Kabuto wounded Tsunade. It was there that Naruto and Jiraiya intervened. Naruto faced off with Kabuto using Rasengan, a new ninjutsu he had learned during his training with Jiraiya. Your free reign ends here! Are you sure a wimp like you can fight me? Get in my way, and I won't go easy on you. Naruto! You're always prancing about, saying you'll be Hokage. See you prancing now. What? <sighs> Little brats think life's so easy. That's why they go on and on about their stupid dreams. Never giving up. I won't lose, no matter what! You'll get it! Just look at me, this is me. Whoa, yeah. time to shut you up. What? what? Are you scared of me? Feel like running? No matter how much you show them, you're still just an adorable little baby. Kids never know when to throw in the towel. Sometimes it's just better to run. I'll just keep pushing. No way I go back on my word. That's my... Till I become Hokage, there's no way I'm gonna die. Arise! Shadow Clone Jutsu! Kids should act like kids and run away! Enough! Stop it! Leave me! Go away! Don't worry about me. Till I become Hokage, there's no way I'll die! Moved by the sight of such passion, Tsunade found the will to fight once more. Severely wounded in the battle between all three legendary Sanin, Orochimaru and Kabuto retreated. Tsunade assuming the role of the fifth Hokage, the hidden leaf embarked on a fresh start, only for a new problem to soon emerge. Lured by an invitation from Orochimaru's underlings known as the Sound Five, Sasuke departed the village. Together with the shinobi he had competed against in the Chunin exam, Naruto set off on a mission to recover Sasuke. After a grueling mission in which his teammates fell one by one, at long last, Naruto reached the last of the Sound Five. Orochimaru had placed a curse mark on Kimimaro and viewed him as a potential new vessel. However, he fell out of favor after contracting a terminal illness. Even still, Kimimaro idolized his master so much that he was willing to lay down his life in battle to help procure Sasuke. I'll never let you take Sasuke! Ever! I'll finish you off quickly. What the heck is Orochimaru after? 
My lord has acquired an immortality jutsu, but it doesn't mean his body will last forever. Before his body decays, he has to find a strong, fresh body as a new vessel for his soul. Are you saying he'll use Sasuke's body? Yes, exactly. No way, not Sasuke! I can't let you do this! Here I come! I won't allow you to read Sasuke Uchiha. He is to be the vessel of Lord Orochimaru. Just then, Sasuke exploded out of a coffin being transported by the Five in a very strange state. While perplexed, Naruto was glad to see Sasuke safe. But Sasuke simply ran away, ignoring Naruto. With Naruto under furious assault, Rock Lee rushed in to save him. Bushy bro, how did you? Do not worry, Naruto. Go get Sasuke. I will defeat him. I promise. Hey, what are you doing? Go now. Right, he's all yours. With Lee taking over for him, Naruto took off after Sasuke. And so, he arrived at the final valley, where the two shinobi who founded the Hidden Leaf had once engaged in battle. There, Naruto confronted Sasuke. To save his great friend and rival, Naruto tried to prevent Sasuke's escape. To obtain the power to defeat Itachi, Sasuke had presented himself to Orochimaru, knowing that he would be used as a vessel. While Naruto came to help his friend, Sasuke was abandoning his. Holding fast to their convictions, the two extremes began their decisive clash in the final valley. Why, Sasuke, why? How could it have come to this? I don't understand! I have my own path to follow. No one has the right to tell me what path I should be on. I'm going to Orochimaru. That psycho just wants to use your body as a vessel! You might never come back! You think I'm just gonna sit back and watch you go there? My own goals are all that matter. I can't do this! I'll take you back by force if I have to! Don't mind if I do! What? Do you even think of me as a friend anymore? I know that neither of us ever said anything, but I always thought of us as friends. Let me give you a piece of my power. It might have only been me who thought that way, and yet, still, I don't know why, but I can't help it. I don't want to see you taken away by someone like Orochimaru! If you try to get in my way, I'll have no one. No, Ruth, go! Uzumaki, you okay? Why? Why don't you get it? Sasuke! Arise! Why would you go this far for me? I 
finally feel connected to someone. And that's why I have to stop you! Naruto unleashed the Nine-Tailed Fox's Chakra in the hopes of stopping his friend, while Sasuke activated his Curse Mark and awakened its second state. Let's just end this. And all our other battles up to now. Naruto! Sasuke! In a clash demanding all of their might, Rasengan dueled with Chidori. The moment had finally arrived to conclude their desperate struggle. But Naruto's feelings didn't reach Sasuke. And he collapsed to the ground in front of him, unconscious. But Sasuke chose not to take Naruto's life. He left in search of a different, superior power to that of his brothers. And so, the mission to recover Sasuke ended in bitter failure. The struggle between two friends, walking two different paths, continued on like a river without end.